Welcome, Sagittarius, to Ama Beauty Tarot. I'm your girl, Ian, a.k.a. Lola. Laugh off and love always. I'm your goddess guide to deep inner wisdom and deep soul transformation. That is the Anma and the beauty. That is the Holy Spirit and magic. And welcome to this reading for Sagittarius. Yep, we're doing Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to get right into the read. We're going to do a prayer. And ask Holy Spirit to join us for this reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Spirit show up for Sagittarius to give them a clear message that they need to hear. Just give them guidance. And whenever this video finds you, Sagittarius, whatever time, place, space, or dimension, this reading will be applicable to you would be 20 years from now and you will find this and this reading will make sense to you. We are, we've got Sagittarius's reading. For Sagittarius, I'm going to make this special note for two, for my son, Buddy, who is a Sagittarius. Whenever I do pull cards, I am always thinking of my of you, buddy. So if you do see this reading 20 years from now, I love you. Thank you for blessing me and being in my life. Okay. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing up for this reading for Sagittarius. So let's see what, what the cards have for you, Sagittarius. Whew. All right. Let's see what the cards have for you, Sag. Well, there's some things in this reading that we need to discuss. And my eyes are tearing up, so let me just clear that up. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So, where to begin for you? Where to begin... I have to begin at the beginning, I think, for you. But I'm going to begin in the passing energy. Because the chariot showed up in the passing position. Okay. Chariot's showing up for you, Sagittarius, in the passing position. And this is about um, this is about victory. This is also about willpower. But this is also about actually physically movement. This could mean vacationing, but it could also be moving. Like chariot is direction, it's moving. Um, but it's also focus and self-control. It's ambition. So in the past, you were dealing with moving towards your goals and your dreams. And you've accomplished that in the past. And the reason why I know you accomplished that in the past is because the star card is the basis of the situation. You are the star. This is hope. Okay? So the star represents hope and guidance. It represents um, inspiration. Harmony. Okay? You are the star, okay? Now, what crosses you for good or for bad in, in this current situation, so you, you did all this moving towards your dreams, and you did all the proper work, okay? And you are the star. You are the hope. This is the basis of the situation. It's representing you, Sagittarius. But what I think you need to know is what's crossed you for good or bad is four of swords, and you need to rest a little bit. You need to rest in the nest of your heart. I love saying that about this card. Because she's in a nest. There's a heart. And this is four of swords. But these look like... Yeah. Okay. They look like snakes, but they're not. They're little pieces of stick. They're little sticks. Little feathers covering her. So you need to rest. What's crossing your star is that you did a bunch of movement to get to where you're at. And now it's time for you to do a little bit of resting. So that you can get your money right. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Because the uh, in the con subconscious is the pen ace of pentacles. Okay? This is material strength, financial prosperity, real world impact. You need, And this is in the subconscious. So this is how you can get your money right. Okay? And the mental, <laughs> you're going to love this. Two of pentacles. Balance your money. Two of pentacles. You're juggling money. 
and you're not knowing where it's coming or going. You need to get a, to get it together. You need to actually jump. You need to figure out how to get it together. Okay. But I get budget is what's coming to me. You you need to really juggle your money in a way that is going to work for you and not against you because it seems to be disappearing. Okay. So you're juggling money and it's going out the door. So you need to really start figuring out how to budget your money as well. Even though that card is not on the board, that would be four of pentacles. It's not on the board. I'm going to say that that's what's coming to me. That you got the ace of pentacles in the subconscious where you have the material ability, material strength to create. And money is flowing to you because it's the, 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 I'm sorry, the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles. Let me, let me re rewind. This is business opportunities are flowing to you. This is like, this is like the practical, dependable abundance is coming to you that message of practical of dependable abundance but all that to say is that you are in a space consciously and subconsciously where you're thinking about how your money is moving and you have to get that you have to balance it out you have to find some balance two of pentacles because you don't can't keep juggling the money you did all the work to get to the star position you need to rest so that you can get your money right once you get your money right, well, the first card of the, I'm going to say the basis of the future, let's see, the future, first card of the future, of the new future, is the Eight of Swords. If you can't get your money right, this is, this is about lacking direction, this is about, this is saying you're, you're lacking direction, if you, you got to get your money right so you can, because you're lacking direction when it comes to your money, when it comes to what you're creating and co-creating, Sagittarius. When it comes to what you're making, really making. So you're the star. You're the freaking star. You did all the work to get to be the star. Now it's time to rest and get your money right, you know, and you got to stop lacking direction. You need to move to a higher place. Temperance shows up. I mean, so the Hierophant shows up. And this is like literally the Hierophant is, is reminiscent of your spiritual path. Okay. This is like your belief system, the belief organization that you follow. This is your spiritual path. It's saying, see, the seven of the eight of swords is saying you're lacking direction to your spiritual path. So you need to rest and you need to get your money right. You need to rest so you can get your coins right so you can move to the towards the future. Outside sources, seven of swords. This is like the one of the worst cards that I would say to come into a space of outside sources, seven of source. This is left. This is like somebody's sneaking away with something. Something. Something's gonna. Some outside source is gonna take something from you. That's seven of swords. This is theft. This is loss. This is underhanded, um, uh, underhanded victory. Somebody's gonna take something from you. Outside source. So I want you to really watch yourself at work. I really want you to watch people at work. It's very important, please. Because um, the outside source is going to try to test you. Nine of Wands. Best case, worst fear. Nine of Wands. This is um, determination, courage. Um, and it's courage despite setbacks. So really watch that outside source at your job. You got, I don't know why I'm saying it. But it could be the outside source that's gonna that's gonna seven of swords you. That's going that's gonna seven of swords that's gonna sneak away with something that's gonna be underhanding and conniving and take something from you is a work related situation. Okay? And this is this is you you have to nine of wands, you have to keep the determination, you have to keep the stamina. Despite the set, setbacks, you gotta keep moving forward in what you're creating abundantly. You gotta get that coin correct. Oh, my, my, my. Okay. Conclusion, High Priestess shows up. And, and uh, wow. <laughs> this is like the wisdom and secrets that you need to know and the, high, and the higher awareness that you need to know and the spiritual place. So it's like the Hierophant takes you up the steps to meet the High Priestess. But you got to be aware of what's going on in, the, in this, this world, in this everyday life. In this muggle, muggle mundane life, you got to know that people are out to get you, that are trying to stab you in the back, and and you have to move forward and encourage despite the setbacks, so that you can get to the this higher awareness, high priestess, high priestess, 
higher power, the wisdom, the secrets, the subconscious activation and the intuition to actually discern when these things are happening. You need to really be linked into that. Hmm. So interesting. So interesting when you just see MCP. It's so interesting that I just looked at these cards and I just see these little, these look like little sigils. And I think they are sigils. I'm going to have to look them up. But it looks like it says NRCP. I don't know. Maybe that resonates with somebody. Take it if it does. Leave it if it doesn't. It could be the person that you're watching out for has those initials NRCP. I don't know. So please just take it for what it is. But that it just popped out. They, they literally popped into my face hardcore. But I really want you to be very consciously aware, Sag, of what is going on in your working environment. Be very consciously aware. Bottom of the deck, four of pentacles. You can't make this shit up. Because I said four of pentacles is not on the board, but you have to budget. You, ha you, you need to... This is like, without a doubt, you must budget. Okay? You must budget. You must be prepared. Despite the setbacks, you have to be prepared of what is coming in the future. So you must create a budget now. No, no doubt about it. All right, let's get you a, a angel card number. Sixteen, I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths, Sagittarius. You fucking really do. I'm just going to say it. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. This is so true. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. As a wisdom seeker and your angels, oh no, a wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. Your perceptiveness is going to help you in the situation of this outside source, seven of swords coming in and trying to be sneaky with your job. Be very, very perceptive. I am perceptive, especially this week. Just be very perceptive. <sighs> you can't make this up. You can't make this up. Let's get you a soul card. I'm going to take this one. Indecision. <laughs> I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Indecision. You And it's back to intuition. Please take your intuition and, and don't be indecisive. If you're feeling the feeling about that, Write something down to remind yourself that that's what you received. That's the hit that you received. Write it down so that you, that indecision can go away. Mm -mm. Okay. Start to give yourself proof. Get a little notebook of, uh, and call it uh, pops, hits, intuition, something, and write it down. Write down every time you get a hit about something. You're like, ah, I feel like this team is going to win. I feel like my boss is, gonna, is saying this about me. I feel like whatever. Write it down so that you have receipts. Write it and date it. Write down, make your own little system because you, it's time for you to make sure that you don't, that indecision isn't messing with you. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Use your intuition in all aspects of your life. Sagittarius, I love you so much. Thank you so much for showing up. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising for a full picture of what's going on for you. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share me with a friend because I'm super shareable. I'm the shit. I love you. And uh, make sure you ring the bell so that you know the next time I come to give you a reading. And I'm going to do them more often, probably weekly readings. Wish me luck. Adios. Te amo. You're perfect, whole, and complete and radiant point of light. I'm blessed by your presence. Thank you for showing up today, Sag. Be well. Bye.